Hello everybody, welcome to this video lesson. Today in this video lesson we would like to talk about the basics of ray optics. You know first of all optics is a word derived from a nerve called nerve of a human eye called something like optica nerve. So when the light falls on that nerve, the nerve responds therefore we are able to see something that is why we are calling this subject as a ray optics. Here we are when we say ray optics it is a quite classical uh, science we are talking about the visible light. You know light is having a lot of uh, range of wavelengths but among them approximately somewhere 4000 angstrom to 8000 angstrom is the light that you are able to see and we are dealing only with that part of the light. This light when we are talking about a visible light, it exhibits a wide variety of properties which can be broadly divided into say different categories like it exhibits properties like reflection, refraction, and dispersion. We can say these are the one set of uh, properties. The light, the visible light also exhibits properties like interference, diffraction, polarization. We can call that as some second set of properties. Not only that, light exhibits a third set of the properties. It also exhibits some another set of the properties like photoelectric effect, Compton effect, Stark effect, G1 effect. People have heard these few terms when they are talking about the atomic model like a Bohr atomic model and Raman effect invented by an Indian itself. So, these are the wide variety of the properties that the light is exhibiting. We can treat this like one batch reflection, refraction and dispersion of the light. We can treat this as one batch interference, diffraction and polarization and we can try and uh, treat the last part like all modern day effects. To explain all these properties, we need certain concepts, certain theory that how is this light is behaving. To explain these properties of the light, there are different theories available. Before going to the theories, probably we need to see that uh, reflection is a phenomena where the light is coming back into the same medium, refraction is the phenomena where the light is going into the other medium, dispersion is nothing but the splitting up of a white light into multiple colors. So, we will go into the different theories uh, a little later. But let us see first of all, reflection is coming back into the same media, refraction is going into the other media, dispersion is splitting up of light. Interference is something like a combination of the two light waves which are going to produce an alternate bright and dark spots. Diffraction is nothing but bending of the light at the obstacle. Polarization is nothing but getting a part of the light and stopping the other part of the light. We will be discussing in detail about all this in the coming video lessons. Similarly, you might have heard definitely regarding photoelectric effect, phenomena of the current committing, emitting out from a metal surface when a light of suitable frequency incident on it. To explain all these properties of the light, different theories of the light were proposed. Among them, the first theory is proposed by the scientist and great scientist Newton, which is called something like Newton's Carpuscular theory. Carpuscular theory. So, the name itself tells you carpuscular is something like a tiny particle, a very small particle. It is like a bullet. So, according to the Newton's carpuscular theory, every source of the light, whatever you consider like a source of the light, is going to emit light like corpuscules from source 
light is going to be emitted like light comes out like corpuscule and he said that travels with a very high velocity travels with a very high velocity so it's like a particle concept he is assuming the light like a particle they travels like with a very high velocity and they travels in straight lines so these are all the concepts of newton's corpuscular theory if we probe further into this newton corpuscular theory it is further understood or else assumed like there are different colors of light according to newton's corpuscular theory different colors of the light are due to different sizes of corpuscles due to different sizes of corpuscles it is further said as per this uh, newton's corpuscular theory that velocity of the light in denser medium is more than that of the velocity of the light in the rarer medium that's a newton's corpuscular theory explanation this theory is able to explain newton's corpuscular theory is able to explain reflection also able to explain refraction but it has a problem what's the problem is it has failed to explain why reflection and refraction are happening simultaneously are happening simultaneously there is no explanation from the newton's corpuscular theory at that time interference diffraction photoelectric effect and modern effects were not yet invented you did not explain and there is also a problem that experiments proved that experiments proved that velocity of the light actually is more in rarer medium than that of a denser medium so these are the problems that this newton's corpuscular theory has faced what is the problem says it is unable to explain why practically velocity of the light is more in rarer medium than the denser medium second it has failed to explain how reflection and refraction is happening simultaneously because as per him it is a particle either it has to come back to the same medium or it has to go to the other medium how the particle this corpuscule can split into two parts and one part go into one medium another part goes to the other medium there is no proper explanation to that and moreover during these periods when people are debating about its correctness people have also identified the properties like interference diffraction and polarization and this theory newton's corpuscular theory failed to explain all these properties thus we are forced to have a new concept and a new theory and we are going to explain that new concept and new theory in our next video right fine stay tuned we'll see you back with a new video thank you